Let's dive into the exciting world of artificial intelligence and discuss the latest sensation in the AI space, a brand new autonomous agent called Manus. If you've been keeping up with the buzz surrounding AI, you might have come across terms like GPT moment, deep seek moment, or even phrases like the intern that never sleeps and the universal hand. These catchy phrases are all pointing to this innovative product from a Chinese startup named Monica. Believe me, it has been making waves across social media and tech websites in recent days, capturing the attention of tech enthusiasts and professionals alike. So, what exactly is Manus? In short, it is being hailed as the world's first truly general AI agent. While there are numerous AI assistants and chatbots available today, those that can answer questions, generate text, or even provide code suggestions, Manus takes things to a whole new level. It is designed to actually plan tasks, execute them, and deliver final results. Imagine having an intern who not only brainstorms ideas but also handles all the tedious work for you. This includes everything from writing code to browsing websites and analyzing data. Manus is developed by a company called Monica, and you can find more information on their website, monica.im. The essence of this new AI agent is captured in its description as your universal hand. The term Manus comes from Latin, meaning mind and hand. This motto emphasizes that knowledge should not just be stored in the AI's brain, it should be actively utilized to achieve results in the real world. The sudden fame of Manus can be traced back to its official launch on March 6, 2025. Monica released an early preview of Manus, which led to a massive wave of excitement. People were so eager to get their hands on it that many stayed up all night just to snag an invitation code. Some individuals even attempted to resell these codes on various second-hand platforms for prices ranging from 999 yuan, around $137, to a staggering 100,000 yuan, nearly $144,000. Most of the codes available for resale were priced at several hundred or a few thousand dollars. This overwhelming demand caught the team off guard leading to a frenzy that showcased the immense interest in this new technology. The excitement surrounding Manus stems from its advanced capabilities. According to the official site, it features a multiple agent structure. This means that different sub-agents within the system handle distinct parts of a task. For instance, one agent might focus on planning, while another executes the task, such as writing a Python script or visiting a specific website. Yet another agent might verify the accuracy of the results. This multi-agent collaboration mimics how a human team operates, where one person strategizes while another handles the coding. The synergy among these sub-agents is what allows Manus to tackle incredibly complex tasks. We are talking about everything from screening resumes for open job positions to analyzing real estate listings based on your income and neighborhood preferences. It can even analyze stock data from multiple companies, build a dashboard, or summarize an entire set of financial statements. In one demonstration, a user needed to find a house in New York with a safe community, a solid school district, and a price range that matched their budget. Manners systematically searched online for safety data, looked up property prices, performed budget calculations using Python scripts, and finally presented a polished report complete with a recommended list of properties. This is more than just a simple chatbot response, it represents an entire workflow that culminates in a finished product. People have also tested Manners by having it plan a trip to Japan in April, conduct thorough analyses of Tesla stock, create interactive course materials for a middle school teacher explaining momentum theories, and even compile a list of B2B companies from Y Combinator's W25 batch. Manus doesn't just spit out bullet points. It can write code, generate visual dashboards, and organize everything in a table or Excel document if that's your preference. Part of what makes this so impressive is how Manus has achieved new state-of-the-art performance on something called the Gaia Benchmark. 
This benchmark measures how well a general AI assistant can solve real-world tasks. According to the team, Manus surpasses other systems, including OpenEye's deep research, across all three levels of Gaia's difficulty ratings. While the specifics of those tests aren't widely detailed, the hype is palpable, especially with bold claims like, we surpass OpenEye's best models at the same level. The company behind this innovation, Monica, was founded by Xiao Hong, a serial entrepreneur who graduated from Wajjong University of Science and Technology in 2015. There is also mention of a co-founder and chief scientist named Ji Chao, who created a demonstration video that garnered hundreds of thousands of views on social media platforms within just 20 hours. Another partner, Zanga, recently mentioned that they had to limit invites because their servers couldn't keep up with the demand. Interestingly, the company underwent changes in its shareholder structure in 2024. We even see that 1.10 cents venture capital invested in them, along with Zen Fund in July of 2022. While not much official corporate structure information is available, this is standard for many startups trying to scale quickly. There is also chatter about how Manus might become the next deep mind. Some people are comparing this significant moment in January to what is happening now with Manus. Local media and social platforms in China are referring to it as another Sputnik moment or another GPT moment, drawing parallels to how chat GPT shook up the world. Regardless, it is clear that Manus has made enough waves to attract coverage from outlets like Global Times, China Daily, Malay Mail, Newsweek, and many others. Everyone is connecting the dots that China has had multiple breakthroughs in AI this year, ranging from large language models to general AI agents. One thing that sets Manus apart from typical generative AI is its aim for what we often call artificial general intelligence AGI. While it won't pick up your kids from school or do your laundry in the physical world, it can handle multi-step processes that you would usually delegate to an assistant or an intern. We have also heard from various sources that at least 21% of enterprises had already adopted AI agents in some capacity by January 2024. Gartner predicts that this number will exceed 80% by 2026, indicating that if Manus performs well, it is tapping into a super hot market. The potential of AI agents to fully automate tasks like B2B sourcing, analyzing Amazon store data, or preparing sales improvement strategies could be enormous for businesses. The official Manus page even shows that it can look up local data for a barbecue restaurant in Texas to help boost sales. It can also participate in Kaggle competitions by writing code to rank in the top 10%. All these use cases are showcased in the official use case gallery, demonstrating the versatility and capability of this AI agent. If you want to try Manus, access is currently invitation only, which has led to a crazy shortage of invites. People are literally flipping these invites on second-hand marketplaces for thousands of dollars. According to the developers behind Manus, they are working on scaling up their servers to allow for more open access. They hope to make it free to use at some point, but no official date has been confirmed yet. Critics are already questioning whether Manus is truly autonomous or just a combination of existing technologies packaged in a sleek manner. Monica is known for creating useful AI-based solutions, especially through the popular browser plugin for ChatGPT. They went from 0 to 10 million users in a flash, so perhaps they will achieve another success with an AI agent that is genuinely practical. Regardless of the skepticism, Manus has undoubtedly shaken the AI scene, particularly in China. Watching it unzip files, sift through resumes, run Python scripts, and compile real estate data all by itself goes beyond typical chatbot abilities. Then there's its so-called autonomous learning, where it retains your preferences, such as favoring table formatted results for future tasks. There is also the question of competition. Giants like Anthropic, OpenAI, and Google have all teased or introduced agent-like systems that can do more than just talk. However, 
We haven't seen many workable agent demos as thorough as Manus right now. All eyes are on how well Manus scales and whether it can truly deliver on its promise as the agent of the future. Only time will tell if Manus is another DeepMind moment, a fleeting hype train, or the next evolution in I. Let me know in the comments what you think. Is Manus just a well-packaged aggregator of AI tools, or is it genuinely a game-changer pointing us toward a real general AI future? Thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you all in the next one. Subscribe to our channel and thanks for watching.